What's up, my set souls? It's your girl Evie B coming back to you today. If you don't know by now, this channel's name is because Evie said so. If you haven't guessed, I'm Evie. I'm so glad you guys are with me today. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, we're going to get our mukbang on today and we're going to have some story time. We're going to talk. We're going to say some things. We're going to do some things. What we're eating on today is some Chinese food. I got some Mongolian beef. I don't know if y'all can see that. It looks so good. And then I got, uh, um, instead of getting the egg rolls, I got spring rolls. I like spring rolls a little bit better. They're not as greasy. And then I got uh, um, crab ragoon. And I got a little fried rice over here, y'all. But before we get into that, let's go ahead and bless our food. Gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for this food. I thank you right now, and I ask you to be nourishment of our body. And for Christ's sake, amen. So, what are you doing today? How you doing? I see you. I see you and you and you. So glad you guys could stop by and spend some time with me. That's the best kind of currency, your time, and I appreciate it. You could be doing anything else, but you're looking right here with me so we can talk. Um, today, I went to uh, Mariano's, the grocery store. Never been in that store before. Y'all been in Mariano's? Comment below. What do you think about it? You think it's like Whole Foods or do you think it's like an elegated, I mean, an elegant jewels? I mean, when I went in there today, I thought it was more like Whole Foods because they had sections for this and sections for that, sections for cheesecake, sections, of course, for meat and fish and stuff like that. But they have such a selection. Everything looked fresh and off the top. And I thought, wow, in some of the neighborhoods I've been to, you don't get anything looking that fresh, that clean. And that's unfortunate because um, different ethnicities in different areas, we don't get as fresh produce as we should or fresh meat as we should. Um, it's not held up to the standard that it should be. But let me go ahead and start eating all of the rice. I don't want everything to get cold. Mm. It's good. Mm. The spring roll. But anyway, I was taken back because I was like, this is a nice store. Um, we was drinking on a half a Coca-Cola today, but I drank most of it in the car, but saved some. Hey, that's a poll. What do y'all think? Coca-Cola or Pepsi? Comment below. Maybe next time, I'll pick what you say. Pepsi. Coca-Cola, what do you think? I like ginger ale, personally. And lemonade. But I went with the Coke today because I was thirsty. And it was right there by the aisle when you check out. No biggie. Anyway, so, back to what I was saying. I wanted a tomahawk steak. But when I went back there, I asked the guy to put it up on the scale, see how much it was. Yo. When he got through with the price, it was $65 and some change. I was like, absolutely not. That's a lot of money for one steak. So I asked him to do a roast to put it up there because I like roast. I like roast with potatoes, uh, carrots, celery, little gravy, some onions, garlic, etc. How do you like your roast? Do you like it in the crock pot or do you like it in the oven? I don't know. Comment below. Different people have different tastes, and that's quite okay. I personally like mine in the crock pot because it cooks a lot. It cooks all day, and it makes it so tender. Now, after that, you can take it out of the crock pot and pop it in the oven for a minute. And then it'll crisp up a little bit, crisp up. Can't talk today, y'all. Crisp up, and uh, it'll be uh, really delicious. So, anyway, the roast was. Oh, I think it was seventy-five dollars and some change when he rang it up because it was a big roast. And it was a ribeye roast. I didn't know. You know, I just asked him because I thought it would look like a real good scrumptious roast. This is spicy, y'all. We didn't have that talk before. Your girl don't really do spicy food because at the end of the day, me and my stomach got to get along. But I found the culprit. Look at that, y'all. It's a pepper. Red hot chili pepper. I don't know. Maybe I should have told the lady... To not put no spice in it, but I didn't actually go in. My kids went in for me, which was really nice. But anyway, 
I digress. So, what's going on in your world? What y'all doing? The weather's changing. The weather here getting cooler. Thank God. Hopefully the flies will die. Damn flies. My God. Gnats. If y'all have problems with flies or gnats, I seem like an infestation lately. Outside and bees trying to attack you. They didn't used to do that. Now they do. At first I hadn't even seen any butterflies outside, which was very unusual for me. And I thought, well, maybe COVID is affecting them where there's no butterflies and stuff. But then the other day, lo and behold, there was one in front of my face. Dragonflies, butterflies. I was so glad to see it. Because it gave me some normalcy. It made me think, okay, things are starting to go back to normal. So I was glad to see it. Now, I'd be glad to see a caterpillar. I ain't seen none of them in years. I don't know where they be hiding. Because if you got caterpillars, that's how you make butt flaps. Metamorphosis. We've also had a problem with um, crickets. Like crickets, cicadas. Some kind of way I dig the sound of cicadas because they make it constantly. But we had some crickets get in the house. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. My kids even named the crickets, okay? <laughs> Bob, I think they said it was. And Bob's friend and Bob's this. And they were trying to chase the crickets outside because they don't want to kill nothing. They're such good kids. They don't want to do it. So they were trying to convince him to go outside. Bob wasn't having it. He was like, I'm warm, I'm comfy. I didn't move in. This is my spot. So they were trying to locate him. Look at that crunch. They found him. And some kind of way they convinced him to go outside. But anyway. So it's been a real interesting summer. It was really hot. Now it's getting really cool in the evening. I think fall's coming early. That's in my neck of the woods. What's up with your neck of the woods? For the people that are having to deal with the fires in California and Oregon and Washington and various other places, I'm still praying for you guys. I think about you guys all the time. We have family out that way. You know, we've got a cousin, my ex-husband and his wife. They live out that way. The kids, you know, my kids are sisters. They live out that way. So, it's personal. It's personal. But we think about you guys, too. I hope that all is well. I hope you guys are safe. I'm praying for each and every one of you. That God will supply all your needs. Whether there is water, a place to stay, some food, shelter, anything. God is the ultimate provider. He'll provide all of your needs. You just got to trust him. I promise you, if you trust him, he'll never let you down. So, it's like I said, I had a kid-free weekend, y'all. As you can see, my background's changed a little bit. I'm over here kicking it with my mom. My kids happen to be here as well. Um, we watched Gemini Man last night on Hulu. Hadn't seen it all the way through before. I kind of fell asleep. Because in some parts it gets a little boring. So, the last time I didn't see it all. Mm -hmm. Sorry. But this time, I watched it all the way through. You know what? It was a pretty good movie. But we're talking about Will Smith. I mean, what does he make that's bad? Comment below. Let a girl know. Do you like Will Smith? Because you know him and Jada had that conversation on Red Table Talk about her and entanglement. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. But when I think about Will Smith, it just makes me happy. I heard, and it's a rumor, I don't know if it's true, y'all, but I heard that the Fresh Prince is about to come back. I know the father on there died, James Avery. He passed away years ago. But I heard they're trying to bring it back. I mean, look, if they can bring back Friends or Roseanne, they can show enough to bring back the Fresh Prince. That was a good show. Sister, Sister, like I said before, is now on Netflix. If your kids want something great to watch, it's an oldie, but it's a goodie. It's so good to see Tia and Tamara Maury 
again on TV. Um, and I just love it. I love when they reminisce back down the line, especially the stuff that I watched in the 90s, early 2000s. You know, so it's great. It's still kind of crunchy, y'all. Anyway, like I said, there hasn't been a lot going on. I've seen that Ruth Bader Ginsburg passed away. God bless her. She's such a champion. She's a champion for gender equality and rights. And most of all, she kept the Supreme Court in check. Okay? So what are we going to do now, y'all? I heard the president was trying to appoint someone else. I mean, we've got like less than 40 days, I think, to the election. This is the reason we need to get out and vote. And droves. Don't just bring yourself. Bring somebody else. And have them bring somebody else. This is not the time to sit home and say, I don't think my vote matters. Let me tell you something. You matter. We talked about this before. You matter. Your voice counts. You have a right as a person in the United States of America to voice your opinion on who you think should be president or who you should think that be the alderman or the mayor or a justice on the bench. You have a right to pick these things. We have so much power and we don't use it. It's like stumbling around in the dark knowing that there's a light right there but we don't turn it on. You don't turn on the light, you can't see anything. That's the kind of power we have. We're stumbling around in the dark trying to figure out what we're gonna do next. We know what to do next. Get out and vote. Vote for the person you think is most qualified to run this country. This is our country. It should be ran like we want it to be ran. We are American citizens. We deserve better. Now, I'm not going to tell you who to vote for, but I'm sure in my conversation and my tone, you probably know who I'm going to vote for. And that's okay. That's okay. We can talk about it. If you have a disagreement, we can sure enough talk about it. Not argue about it. Not gripe about it. Just honestly talk as adults. Having a carefree weekend was great, even though it ended up not being a carefree weekend. But have you ever had a time when somebody came and picked up your kids and you thought, Wooly, I'm so grateful they gone. And then a couple of hours later, you miss them. You can't do nothing because you miss them. You're like, well, what am I going to do? I don't know. I don't know. Well, that's how it was for me. I missed my kids. My mom wanted me to come over, so that's what I did. Nothing wrong with that. What do you think? If you wore my shoes this weekend, what would you have done? Would you went out, party, spent some money, went shopping, slept, and that's another good one. Do some sleep, clean up. What would you do? You know I want to know. You comment below. Let a girl know what you would do. Let me get into this scrap rack zone. Just filled, y'all. Let me see. Mmm. So let's see also. It's crunchy and light. Just the right amount of filling. Hmm. Well, we'll tell y'all where I got this, but I, I don't remember the address. I think it was 48, 42 South Wentworth or something like that here in Chicago. That's a gas station, a BP gas station. And then it's a mini mall, like a little strip mall. There's a Chinese food place in there. So good. I like it. I didn't think I would like it, but it's good. It's my first time there. Like I said, at my golden and beef. Got broccoli. I kind of like broccoli, y'all. Do you like broccoli? Broccoli can be kind of gaseous, but I still eat it. I got a question. How y'all like Brussels sprouts? Do you love them? And what are some creative ways you've made Brussels sprouts if you love them? Because I love them. 
I put them in the oven with a little oil and baked them and roasted them. I boiled them before. I fried them with some bacon before. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Yep, they've been good. Not everybody likes them, but I do. When I was little, I would call them little cabbage balls because that's what they look like, little cabbage balls. That's okay. That's all right. So, anyway, we're we'll just checking in. Taking some time to check in with you guys. You check in with me. This channel would be nothing without you guys. I see you. I'm glad you're here. I wish you guys would like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you'll know when, I, when I'm up again, when I send another video through. It's always good chatting with you. I'm going to chat with you on the regular. You already know. We have so much to talk about. So much every day to talk about. Talk about kids. Talk about life. Doesn't matter. Subject's our subject. I'm your friend. I want to be your friend. You can be mine. I'm not going to, you know, break down to the song wants to be my neighbor. <laughs> Even though it's a beautiful song. And I really miss him. But anyway, back to what I was saying. Drop a girl a line. Send me an email at because Evie said so at gmail.com. I'll be sure to write you back. I'm so glad we had this chance to talk. I'm going to go ahead and finish my food. A little bit. Give me a second or two, y'all. Your beef? It's not chewy. It's moist. Well flavored. Delicious. This is your soap. Stay focused. Okay. Right here. Stay focused. I have to remind myself. Sometimes it is so good to you. You just want to go someplace else with it. But anyway, y'all. Uh, I'll be back with another video. When you saw my last video, I was a little bit emotional. And to those who don't understand, I'm sorry you don't understand that you don't get it. But I know there are many, many, many others that do understand what I was going through. And I'm here. If you have any questions about dependency, I'm not a doctor. I don't have a license. But I've lived with someone, married someone that was addicted to drugs. So I understand being the person that has to deal with that situation because even though you're not doing drugs, you feel like you are because you're suffering all the consequences behind it. And that's the part that you need to deal with. So I'm not going to preach, I'm not going to harp, but a girl is here if you have questions. I'd love to be able to reach out with you, support you, pray with you even. Everybody needs some help sometimes, me included. I need advice. I get so mad so often at my kids, at life. It's not moving quick enough. They're not moving quick enough. Sometimes I lose it, man. But I'm here. And I'm glad I get another chance to do something different, maybe. And I might yell again tomorrow. Well, in the next 10 minutes. But I'm trying. I'm trying not to yell. I'm trying to be more patient. I'm trying to understand. Because I was a child once, and I'm not a teenager anymore, but they are. And I'm trying to understand their perspective, their world. Anyway, thank you so much for being here. I cannot wait to talk to you again. Y'all be safe out there. Stay focused. Keep your mask on. Wash your hands. 20 seconds or more. Make sure you're not forgetting. You know, we can't let our guard down against this invisible enemy. Because one, it's invisible. We can't see it, but we sure can fight it. Y'all keep strong, be strong, be focused. I love you guys, and I'll talk with you again. Have a great day. Bye-bye.